Why is chlorine suddenly so expensive? I mean, first of all, it's true. It is so expensive. It's a little bit uh, shocking, no pun intended. Um, and many of you might have heard already, there was a uh, fire at a chemical manufacturing plant a few years ago prior to the pandemic. And it kind of was, uh, you know, a perfect storm of, of a bad situation because during the pandemic, I mean, there's so many industries that uh, didn't perform very well. One of them that did exceedingly well was the swimming pool industry. Because if you're going to be locked at home, boy, it'd be great to have a swimming pool, wouldn't it? And that's exactly what everybody thought. And in record numbers, people were building pools, rejuvenating and repairing old derelict swimming pools. And so now there's more swimming pools than ever. The chlorine has not replenished yet. The chemical manufacturers still have not uh, increased manufacturing back or up to the amount it was before the chemical fire. So there's still a supply and demand problem here, compounded by the fact that there's more pools than ever. And once you have a swimming pool, you're committed to that chlorine uh, chemical regimen because you need chlorine to keep your pool clean. You can't just stop adding it. It would turn into a putrid cesspool. So that's not an option. And so there's more pools than ever needing chlorine. There's still not enough chlorine to meet that demand. And so the price is going up. And look, I'm not here to defend big chemical manufacturers. Like maybe they're is price gouging or you know they're just making more money than they should or maybe somebody's purposefully limiting the supply that's that's doling out i have no idea that's all conspiracy theory stuff that i can't relate to but i can tell you that chlorine's expensive it is what it is it's going to be more money this year for your chlorine than you were used to last year maybe even substantially more and now is the time to start looking at alternative things. There's things you can do to reduce the amount of chlorine that you use. I definitely still endorse using chlorine. I totally think it is something that you should use in your swimming pool. But there are other things that you can do. Peripheral devices like a germicidal UV lamp. You could install that. That will reduce the amount of chlorine that you use. You could install an AOP system or another peripheral system to, again, reduce on the amount of chlorine that you use. There are options. There's even just, you know, stuff that you can commit to, like showering before you use your swimming pool, uh, making sure you wash off all of the oils and lotions and makeup and sunscreen and stuff like that, because that loads up your pool with organic contaminants. You need more chlorine now to deal with that. And maybe you could look towards things like oxidizers and there are alternatives, other ways that you can supplement your chemical treatment of your pool water such that you can reduce the, the total amount of chlorine that you're using. Oftentimes people come to me and say, I wanna use less chlorine. I'm gonna use only 0.5 parts per million of chlorine. And fundamentally, I don't like this approach. Don't look at chlorine as a day-to-day -day item. And that's what 0.5 or one part per million would be. On Saturday, I had one part per million of free chlorine. What I want to look at is the annual usage. How much chlorine do you use for this pool in one swimming season? And now, if we can reduce that number by 40 or 50%, wouldn't you be happy with that? And if the answer is yes, then we should be talking about looking at germicidal UV lights or AOP systems, which can help you achieve those numbers. In total, the price of chlorine is not likely to go down. I wish it would, but in my lifetime, in my experience, when things go up drastically in price due to reasons, for some reason, it never seems to come back down, even when those reasons go away. And you probably agree with that. Um, and if you do, then you can probably go ahead and plan for the fact that chlorine is going to be more expensive than you're used to paying, more expensive this year than ever and probably no relief in sight, unfortunately. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my, my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.